everybody, Tim here from the Tactical Thunder here on YouTube. And um, out, rather cold day, but still yet very beautiful. A little overcast, I'm at the range doing a little training. And uh, as always, I bring a whole bunch of crap with me, a bunch of gear, and thought I'd bang out some videos, show you some more stuff of what I own, what I have. And uh, this video here, what I like to talk about, one of my favorite companies is Maxpedition. I love their gear. Uh, this is the this video will be about the Maxpedition Proteus Pack. Um, they call it the Versa. It's a Proteus Versa Pack, but it's more like a, a butt pack, a waist pack. And uh, if I remember correctly, I did look a little bit. The name Proteus is from a mythological. Um, entity or person and Proteus was I believe the son or they believed to be the son of Poseidon and Proteus could uh, change shapes, colors, he could be anything or nothing for that matter um, very versatile and um, well could be anything and which is really the perfect name for this particular pack or, or even the saber cat from Max Edition as well. But, because this pack here, you literally can do anything with it. There's so much stuff you can use it for. You can use it for a, a, a small gold bag, a tool bag. You can use it for a diaper bag, seriously. Uh, actually, I'd probably go with this one because my son certainly uses a lot of diapers. But, um, I have a lot of Max Edition gear. I really like Max Edition gear. Like I said earlier, it's one of my favorite companies. Um, it would be slightly better if it was made here in the States as far as how much I like it, but, um, it's not, unfortunately, but, um, I love Max Edition, as I said, I picked up this because the Saber Cat, I love, I use a lot, um, this is actually a, uh, my range bag, I got a video coming soon of this, um, this is empty, by the way, but just for comparison, you can see the difference. Now remember, this is full. This is not. It's kind of compressed. Um, you know, there is a bit of a difference in uh, in, in size and, and as well as cost. Uh, the colors are khaki and foliage green accents, if you will. Now, if you look at this, this is khaki and this is khaki. Yeah, a little bit different, right? I guess it happens. This is a bit old. We're talking like five years old, I would say. Yeah, about five years old. This is not. Probably, I would say a year, between a year, year and a half. Now, what I... My plan for this is I've had it for quite a while. It's been sitting around. I kinda, it's been kind of going back and forth what I'm going to use it for. Um... One of the things I plan on using it for, well, what, I, what I'm going to put it to use for, I'm sorry, is a first aid kit. I put together some stuff, which is still tweaking, obviously. This is going to make an, an awesome first aid kit. I'm going to put this in my car. This is going to stay in the back of my Subaru Forester. And uh, I plan on changing out the paracord, possibly red or orange paracord. I'm going to get uh, some stickers or uh, name tape or something to put on it and, uh, you know, so people know. Oh, first aid kit. Matter of fact, this bag here is the first aid kit that will be going into this, okay? I already had everything in there. It fits real nicely. I want to tweak it a little bit, right? I don't need some of the stuff, which probably like yourself, I'm constantly evolving, constantly changing. Uh, just when I think I got it right the way I want, I'll watch a video, I'll talk to somebody. Remember, I work at a hospital, you know, I, I, I don't really talk to a whole lot of people, I kind of keep to myself, but the ones I do talk to, doctors, nurses, mostly doctors, trauma doctors, they really kind of give me a lot of insight of what, what's good to put in the back, you know, a first aid kit. So this will be broken down, individual bags, and then put into this, all right, I'm going to put that aside for now. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring the camera lower, 
and we're going to get some really good uh, close-ups, some look, uh, get, get a good look at this. And I'm going to show you all the features. Um, and as always, I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. Um, I can tell you now there's not a lot, very little, maybe one feature, but we'll discuss it because I always want to discuss that proportion of a product with you. Um, it is a bit windy today. Unfortunately, hopefully you're hearing me more than you are the wind. But anyway, I'm going to stop the camera, lower the camera, and we'll come right back and we'll take a look at this, all right? One second. All right, well, I'm back. So, as I said, this is the Maxpedition Proteus, okay? Smaller version of the Maxpedition Saber Cat, slightly smaller. And um, it's got basically four main compartments, or four compartments for that matter. It's got two on the side. One on each side. You can fit something small there. I plan on putting maybe uh, some ace bandage, some gauze rolls in there. Nice pouch. As always, very strong YKK zippers. I believe they're number 10. I think they said number 10 YKK zippers. It does have paracord pulls on all zippers. And uh, like I said, I'm going to change those out to maybe red or an orange. It's got another pocket on this side, which by the way, I got a couple things in it. These are the buckles that go on the waist strap. I'll show you those in a second. Now on each side, it actually has some PALS webbing on both sides. So you can actually put more stuff. If you, you know, I'm sure you know about PALS webbing, Molly. You can actually put more stuff there. All right. On the back side, it's got, actually I don't want to cover that. Yeah, let's do that. On the back side, it's just got one big panel, no pockets. It does have one big panel of PALS webbing, so you can put more stuff on there. Actually, it would be really cool if you got another one of these. Put them back to back, right? I actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. And um, now, this is one thing that I particularly, I mean, it's nice. It's, the, it, it's got this sleeve here, okay? The sleeve is... Uh, you know, well, 1,000 Denia Kodora. The whole thing is made out of 1,000 Denia Kodora. The sleeve has some Velcro. And then it has straps. All right, one on this side. Under the Velcro. Or as they call it, hook and loop nowadays. All right, and it's got, this is for the, the waist strap, okay? To put around your waist. I don't need that. I don't like that. Um, I like backpacks or vests uh, for hiking, shooting, whatever. I don't. I don't really need that. So what I did was I took off the the strap, uh, the 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 uh, Fastex buckles, put them inside. I'm actually going to put those away, store them away, keep them safe so they're not lost. And uh, and and I don't. I actually contemplating cutting this off, getting rid of that. But I'm not going to do that because I never know things, as I've always said, things are constantly changing, constantly evolving, right? So I'm actually going to leave them on. I can tuck them in. They did put some more hook and loop right here. So it actually there's some in there as well. So you can tuck these in. I'm not going to take too much time doing that. You can tuck it in, put it down, and they stay there. They're not going to keep coming out, which personally would drive me insane. All right, so I'm not going to use those. On the bottom, really not much. You do have a compression strap, which also becomes the handle. All right, those go all the way to the bottom. A nice, uh, uh, you know, molly there just to kind of put through so they're not loose and going, falling all over the place. On the front of the pack, you got the compression straps coming up. You have more molly or, or PALS webbing. And this is all one inch nylon webbing, PALS webbing, okay? Again, very, very nice Fastex buckles. I mean, they're really, I mean, they're very, very strong. All right, so you have what, what, I'm, what it would be the third pocket. You got two on the ends, and you get another one right here, okay? All the seams are double stitched with a very high tinsel strength. Um, uh, uh, sewing thread. It's not just your ordinary thread, okay? It's something that's a little bit stronger or a bit stronger, okay? And they also tape all the seams. You can see 
here hopefully the camera is getting this I mean they really put a lot of threading there and then if I turn it around inside out I mean look at that I mean it's it's strong there's just not one thing of thread there you know there's a lot of it so we open it up we got a small pocket in here couple smaller pockets right here to put you know whatever you want in I'm gonna put you know I'm gonna I got all my st medical stuff going I'm gonna put some band-aids and you know whatever you know you can really put a lot of stuff again nice opening I mean it really opens up big again great number 10 YKK zippers uh, now the handle you know what let's get this let's get this tucked away Stuff like that pisses me off. <laughs> I know it's not a really big deal, but... All right, that's a way. Let's discuss the handle for a minute before we go inside. Again, fast test, fast, fast text buckles, say that quick. Look at the sewing on this handle. Box stitch, double, triple sewing. And what I really, really like, which I, I don't recall seeing it, and they do it on a lot of their bags. They did it here. Uh, I think they do it on all their bags. I like how they fold over the uh, the nylon webbing, put another stitch through it, and then go keep going back and forth. And then they put a smaller, before they do that, they put a smaller strip of nylon across the top to make it even stronger. I mean, this is strong. There's no way. I mean, this bag isn't going anywhere. Seriously, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall apart on you. Again, and I've been saying it a lot because I have a, uh, I just had a son, and I got another boy coming soon. This is stuff I'm going to be passing down to my boys. It's going to be around a long time. But this is a very, very strong handle. Great fast hex buckles. Very strong. But I see that going before this handle rips or breaks in the bag, I lose the bag, right? But anyway, beautiful. If you can see the stitching there, really strong, beautiful stitching. So let's open it up and let's go inside. Now, again, it's got two zippers, one there, one there. You can meet them in the middle. You can even put a lock there if you want. I don't really need that. Open it up. And it's got a rather nice, sizable pocket inside. It's it. There's no spacer there. It's just a one big open pocket. Another smaller mesh pocket right in here. You can put more stuff in there. All right. Now and again, all of the seams are taped. I don't know if you're going to be able to see at the very bottom there. All the seams are taped, sealed. Now this is my, and pretty, pretty much that's it. You know, it's a very strong bag. Um, I, I forget, I think I got this off eBay quite some time ago. Uh, like I said, about a year ago. It's an incredible bag. Now, this is it. This is pretty much the bag. Very simple, nice bag. Very, very strong. Uh, it's gonna be my medical kit to hold, to hold this stuff, okay? Let me say one thing. I have one complaint about this bag. One is this opening. That opening. Um, I, it's not enough. Will it do? Absolutely. Is it a game changer? Would I suggest not buying the bag because of that opening? Absolutely not. Very quickly, if you look at the Saber Cat, right? Same kind of strap. Now, if you look at the Saber Cat, where is it? Here it is. Hopefully, this is all within range here of the uh, camera. Same thing, double, but watch this. You open this up, and the zippers come down the sides, right? They come down the sides. And when you open this up, I mean, look at that. Clamshell, I forget exactly how you want to call that. I mean, look at that opening. Now, I don't understand, let's get that out of the way for a second, why they didn't do it with this. Why couldn't they have had this zipper come over here, come down on the sides, so that it, the whole thing like 
fold clamshell open, all the way open, or rolled open, however you want to work. That would have been nice. If Max Edition, you probably won't. If you were to see this, if you could change that, that would be beautiful. Now, I see a lot of people, I've watched a ton of videos on this, right? I see a lot of people wear, wear this, not only on the back, but in the front, right? In the front of them. It would be great if the zipper went down here, at least halfway, so when you opened it up, it fell away from you, you know? Anyway, it's just a thought. Uh, before I forget, it also has these, these are plastic uh, D-rings here if you want to get a shoulder strap or something. Um, you carry it like, like a, well, a pocketbook or like a, there are other Versa packs, but the, the, the strap would be sold separate, by the way. But again, very strong. Look at the stitching on there. I mean, really, if you can see, it's not just sewn to the material. That strap goes into the bag. That is, that is just great. The, the little things like that I, I love. I, th I really like. Um, great bag. Very, very strong. Built like a tank. I just wish this opening was bigger. That's it. Not a big deal. Still worth the money. Still worth picking one up. And... Um, and that's it. I really like this bag. Um, it goes well with the Max Edition Saber Cat, which has little slightly better features. Um, but anyway, so that's it. All right, so that is it. Max Edition Proteus gonna be my med kit. Gonna make some slight changes. I do wish that pocket was bigger, but it's not a game changer. It's still an incredible bag, and. Uh, I'm actually contemplating picking up another one. I'm going to actually, no, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. But a uh, lot, a lot of choices. You can do all kinds of stuff with these. And, uh, and that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, I appreciate if you become one. If you like this video, thumbs up and leave a comment. i like to know what you think. What are your thoughts? Do you have one? What do you use it for? That's what i really like to know. What do you use yours for? Or the saber cap. If you have a saber cap, what do you do with yours? And, um, and that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Be well, stay safe, and we'll talk soon. Okay? Bye.